All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, Lord's willing, I pray this lesson is edifying to those of the whole four elect. All right, and uh, as you can see from the title, Exploring Bio-Digital Convergence. And this is an article that came out from February 11th, 2020. All right. Um, you know, I came across this article from watching alternative news. And uh, this guy, he was bringing it out. So I thought to just do a quick lesson on it. You know, just proving uh, the fact that the RFID microchip, all right, the uh, Neuralink, you know, any microchip that goes inside the body and that transmit information for buying and selling, okay? You know, you have this, this, this new age that we're living in of humans being uh, plugged in to technology, meaning their bodies, and that's the microchip. You know, this is the miracle. Matter of fact, matter of fact, uh, let me see here. Look up a quick, quick, quick. Let me look up. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Let me look up a uh, quick, quick, uh, quick scripture. Miracle it should be in Revelation because this is that power. All right, to give life to the image of the beast, which did give life to the image of the beast. All right, which is the system. All right, the system that's in play, okay, to uh, make Esau a god. All right, to make him the uh, most high. Uh, this is Revelation 16, 14. It says, and they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of Yahweh Almighty. All right, al -Asijah. All right, terrible power, devastated, which is the heavenly father, Yahweh. All right, so it says, for they are the spirits of devils, which is Esau, working miracles. And one way of a miracle is what you call bio-digital conversions. All right, merging man with technology. And who's doing this? Esau Edom. You know, he's at the head of this. You know, of course, you got Moab, which is uh, in a race, you know, to beat Esau with this technology. But more so, the scriptures, all right, goes into that beast, which we know to be Esau. All right. And uh, really to make up that beast is NATO. All right. They're going to make uh, scriptures say he's going to make who's going to make war with the beast. Yahweh Shai. All right. Which is the world. Which is who the world annually calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son of the Most High. All right. So it says, Revelation 16 14, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and to the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of Yahweh Almighty. Let's see here. Uh, yep. Revelations 19:20 and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him in which he did this in which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image the uh, these both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone all right so who's performing these miracles man Esau uh, Revelation 13 14 and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had a wound by a sword and did live all right because it's going into the Roman Empire but still live all right was the Roman Empire being born all over again all right through America coming out of Great Britain okay so anyway
let's get back to this article here. I don't mean this lesson to be long, but Lord willing, it's edifying. Exploring biodigital convergence. Now, I'm going to read one paragraph of it and get to the next article. It says, in the coming years, biodigital technologies could be wo woven into our lives in the way that digital technologies are now. Uh, biological and digital systems are converging, converging, and could change the way we work, live, and even involve as a species. You see how Esau is trying to change the creatures in which we are, which the Most High created us to be? He wants to change our species because man hooked up to technology will be more advanced in a carnal manner. All right, which really will lead to the flesh to destruction. All right, so this is Esau's plan, God, man. So it says, um, biological and digital systems are converging and could change the way we work, live, and even involve as a species. More than a te technological change, this bio digital conversion, <laughs> this bio digital conversions may transform the way we understand ourselves and cause us to be redefined what we consider human or natural so check that out man let me read that again more than a technological change this bio digital conversions may transform the way we understand ourselves and cause us to redefine what we consider human or natural so esau is trying to redefine what is human and natural all right and there's a little bit in this article it's not long i'll leave a link if brothers want to get into that all right exploring by digital conversion so quick let's go into this one here uh world's smallest single chip system could be injected into the body all right and this is a recent article which came out may 11 2021 so this is the newer article here and you see look how small that is all right world's smallest single chip system could be injected into the body okay i read one paragraph the continuing miniaturization of electronics is opening up some exciting possibilities when it comes to what we might place in our bodies to monitor and approve our health Engineers at Columbia University have demonstrated an extreme version of this technology. Developing the smallest single chip system ever created, which could be implanted by a hypothermic needle to measure temperature inside the body and possibly much more. You know, and I'll leave a link to this article as well. All right, so showing you Esau's playing God, man. All right, the mark of the beast is the chip. All right, any microchip that is embedded under the skin for buying and selling to transmit information, okay, you've been marked, man. All right, so real quick, let's just read the scripture and I'll read it through. Uh, Revelations 13, 16, it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Or the number of his name and that mark goes into the greek word karagma and the root word for karagma is karax okay which means something embedded being uh stamped okay underneath the skin okay it says verse 18 here is wisdom let him to have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 600 three score and six all right going into chi phi stigma okay which means to prick Okay, to stick. Okay, uh, let's go to Revelation 14 and read through these scriptures fast. Uh, Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. See? And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and his image is the system, all right, you are in the lead with this new system that Esau is uh, formulating, all right, dealing with these microchips, 
being inside your body, the mark of the beast. All right, you know, you see the, the money being uh transferred to all digital. We just, I just went, well, we just went, you know, to uh, Whole's Food and got in line and they said, you know, no more cash. So I'm guessing Whole Foods is not taking cash or it could be just today they're not taking cash. But either way, you know, you notice in different businesses, they'll tell you right at the door before you walk in, we accept no cash. All right. So everything is going digital. So it says, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. All right. So you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be destroyed. Okay. Revelations 15 and 1 and I saw another and I saw another sign in heaven Great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is filled with the wrath of Yahweh And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast So we just read in Revelations 14 Those that you know worship the image of the beast got destroyed and now we're reading those who get who got the victory for not taking and worshiping the image of the beast, all right? And taking the mark. So it says, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on a sea of glass having the harps of the most high. And they sung the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the lamb, saying, great and marvelous are thy works, Yahweh." Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O, o Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thou judgments are made manifest. And that's what we're going into. The Most High, all right, is going to make his judgments manifest in this earth. All right, so the Lord is gonna hand out those rewards. You reap what you sow. All right, now let's move on. This is my last one, Revelation 16 and one. And I had a great voice, and I heard a great voice out of the temple saying the seven, and I heard the great voice out of the temple saying to the seventh angel, go your ways and pour out the vows of, of the wrath of Yahweh upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vow upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. All right. So, hey, you take that mark, you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, we want to be like Revelations 15 and 2, you know, having get getting the victory for not taking the mark. All right. You know, it's just uh, two articles just bring more and you know, it's just more evident. As, as, as the days go and more articles emerge and more news come out, all right, that the, the chip is the mark of the beast, all right? Scriptures say, be not ignorant to Satan devices, you know? So, you know, Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.